I want to cover an uh, interesting topic. Uh, everyone knows about log4j and uh, how log4j can be configured, how many patterns are available. I don't want to cover all those things because already we know. But uh, I want to cover a different concept. Uh, generally, uh, how loggers will be uh, applied to application. So whenever we have a log4j properties based on that, it will be applied. But some cases, uh, for example, I have a internal and external services. So where exactly my external service is connected, I want to observe or I want to monitor only specifically the external service. Something like what is what input is uh, uh, going from my application, what response is coming from external service. Because these uh, specifically very sensitive information and I don't want to uh, merge with or, uh, my total application. So I want to log separately only that external service. So yeah already we know right log4j is very flexible and this scenario also we can easily configure log4j and we can see how uh, external service loggers will be logged into separate log file see uh, uh, just to give an example i have created internal service and external service of course in this nothing is there just wanted to show you i am passing one input and based uh, for output i am just forming based on the input so external service also i did like that but generally uh, external service nothing but if we have a third party uh, services which we are connecting from our application so that mean uh, that that uh, that what i mean is uh, yeah so um, generally for application we'll have entire uh, log uh, logger so other than that i want to log external service uh, uh, messages separately so for that how log 4g uh, properties can be configured so this is we know this is for uh, this is for uh, console output and this is for we are logging into one specific uh, file total uh, total application other than that see how i'm logging uh, for a specific class this is my external class so how i'm giving log 4g logger and along with that class name so if you want to uh, log specifically for specific uh, package you can just class name and give a package name called not java village dot service and uh, for example, um, we have a different environment. Sometimes, right, if you think this is not required, you can enable and disable using true or, or false. True, nothing but it will lock. So, as usual, uh, how a file uh, uh, attribute uh, created for logging uh, messages. Here, I have created as a service, and that service is. Uh, using like uh, 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 giving what is the file name and the max file size and max backup index and all so like this I am trying to log my messages in a separate file so let's see log for main uh, class I am just creating external service and uh, uh, setting some input based on that I am calling service method and I am checking what is the output here and as well as calling input because here right I don't want to create a big application where you can go and see and run uh, through Tomcat just I want to give a simple example where I can log in a separate log file so we'll try uh, running this file and uh, we'll check how uh, loggers will be displayed in a separate file along with our application loggers so here it will display because uh, I have given a console also so we'll check our logger files yes so this is my application logger so it will have an internal service as well as external service uh, information also other than that this is my separate log file so this will have only uh, external service related loggers so this is the way we can make it thank you